Hey guys, good day. Hey, I wanted to revisit um, some of the things I was saying on my last video about this green text where I referred to that as when the Lord's going to come like a thief in the night and steal away the little ones. Now, there were a couple comments that were questioning whether it's only going to be the little ones that are going to be taken. And I should have made it clear that uh, there will be part of the bride part of the bride that has the assignment to take care of the little ones they will go with them they will be the ones gathering up the little ones and I can I can show you uh, some of the parts of scripture that point to that and some of the modern day prophetic words and uh, words of knowledge that uh, speak of this um, of a part of the bride that's going to be gathering up the little ones to take them to um, I, I would classify this as the very first departure uh, that's the major departure that's going to occur that people will recognize. So <clears throat> if you go to Isaiah 49, Isaiah 49, you get down to verse 22, that's where you see where the little ones are being taken. And when it says they here, I, I really think these the they here are the angels, or they could be these kings and queens. But after the little ones are taken, after the Lord lifts up his hand in judgment against the world, and raises his signal, some kind of sign in the sky. That's when the little ones are going to be taken. <clears throat> and it says the kings will be their foster fathers and queens their nursing mothers. So this is a very small group, kings and queens. Remember it says in Revelation 1, he says that the faithful followers of Jesus will be, be a kingdom of priests uh, to help rule, rule with Jesus during the millennium. So this is a portion of the bride that's going to be uh, taking care of the little ones. And they will leave with the little ones. Now, Diana um, had a prophetic word or utterance of the other day and put out a video on August 7th where she basically says the same thing. She talks about the children and the matrons. And this is, this is part of the bride that has this assignment. So th there's various divisions of the bride. And I'm going to do another video where I, I'm going to show you that in Scripture and in a few prophetic words, but I didn't want to go over that here. So it's not just the little children by themselves that will be taken uh, that night. There's, there's going to be a s very small group uh, faithful, uh, mature sons and daughters of God who are going to go with the little ones and gather them up. Um, but I do want to play a couple videos here to just bring home this point. Now, this is a guy named Ken Peters. You guys all know Ken Peters. This is a part of his testimony I didn't, I've never heard before where he mentioned the fact that, um, you know, I'll, I'll let you listen. Military or militia, it seemed like martial law. This was right when he first woke up in his dream and he could see that the tribulation or some event has started that's uh, catastrophic. Uh, people were greatly frightened. One thing I remember that I will never forget was um, that little babies had just uh, disappeared for a period of time in this dream. They were gone. No, no little babies from, you know, newborn. Where did they go? Where did all the babies go? They just disappeared. Uh, they were just gone. Yeah, they had just disappeared. Many, many mothers were very frightened. A lot of toddlers had disappeared. Uh, and then... Uh, Remember the words of Jesus? How dreadful it will be for pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days. He's describing that. Period of time into the dream, uh, it, it people began to have... Yeah, so then sometime after... Uh, sort of the world got reset and they started to have babies again. Of course, these new round of babies were the ones uh, that had the mark of the beast parents. So we know those babies were not made in the image of God. Children again. And I knew that this was the yeah, end. Let me replay that. No, no, no little babies from, you know, newborn. Where did they go? Where did all the babies go? They just disappeared. Uh, they were just gone. Yeah, they had just disappeared. Many, many mothers were very frightened. A lot of toddlers had disappeared. Uh, and then a uh, period of time into the dream, uh, it, it, people began to have children again. And I knew that this was the end, even though I didn't know anything about the end. Inside of me, I knew this was the end. The end was at the door. Yeah. Uh, began to see buildings. Up. Okay, so that, uh, that uh, shows you what Ken Peters saw in his dream of the, uh, I guess, when the Antichrist began to rule. Let's see what else do I have here? Um, okay, I talked about Isaiah 49. Oh, I want to show you a prophetic word from Terry Taplin. It's not that one. Uh, okay, so this is this is a portion of a prophetic word that she received. And Terry, you know, she is, this is a modern day prophetic word she got back in 2016. And let's look at the words that she was given by the Lord and compare it with Scripture. That, that's how we can tell when these prophetic words 
um, are true. It says this gift also, this is the a removal. This gift also comes with a bonus, the gift of being removed prior to uh, terrible events coming on the earth, what we refer to as a pre-tribulation rapture, or I would say, uh, I would say maybe pre-seal uh, six rapture. Um, it says in in that soon, very soon, Yeshua will be allowed to by his Father to come down and bring home all of his, all that are ready. He will be taking the innocent, the children, the animals, as they too are innocent in his creation. What this means is that there will be many, too many families that will be torn apart and separated. So if we go to Hosea 5, and we talk about when the princes of Judah will move that boundary line, could that be Prince uh, Trump's um, love? land dividing deal for for Jer Jerusalem then it says the Lord says for I will be like a lion to Ephraim and a young lion to the house of Judah I even I will tear and go away tear and go away and then in Hosea 6 the first left behind group they say come they realize that they come let us return to the Lord for he has torn us that he may heal us and then we see in Jeremiah 50, we hear the Lord has a plan. I've asked many pastors about, are they aware that the plan had, that the Lord has a plan for the little ones? That's what it says here, surely the little ones. So the plan is surely the little ones of the flock will be dragged, or in the Hebrew, torn away. And those who are left behind will be appalled at their fate. So here we see a prophetic word that uses literally the same terminology that we see in the Bible. And we also see, like I told you a second ago here, we see from Diana's word that, you know, there's going to be, these little ones are going to be taken, and these queens and kings are going to be their nursing mothers and foster fathers. So I just, the point of this was there were some folks who were questioning whether this, uh, this stealing away in the middle of the night or whatever uh, was truly just the children or might there be some others. And yeah, there will be others that will go. And if I go back to Aaron's dream, which I mentioned earlier, it says this, it says, many people have suddenly disappeared, mostly children. Okay, so the people who were, they were part of this bride, this portion of the bride that was gone. Now, I have a theory about the bride, and I just, I'm going to give you a snippet of it right here. Um, and I'm going to get into this a little bit later, but this is highly speculative, and sometimes I want to shy away from doing too much speculation because people sometimes get upset when I do that for whatever reason, but they do. Um, okay, so Terry Taplin speaks about the 144,000 and she says there's why there's many different schools of thought and why we're always arguing about, uh, hey, you know, I'm going to be doing this, you're going to do that. No, we're going to leave here, we're going to leave then, I'm going to leave before, I'm going to leave after. Um, but she says this, she says there are three divisions of the bride and there are divisions of the watchmen. And they will be brought um, at the appointed time to be trained in his secret place. So I'm going to do another video where I'm going to speak about how I see these brides uh, being broken up into three divisions and what their various assignments are. Because I've seen uh, over the last year, I've seen people say, no, I'm going to be here for this. And I've heard other people say, no, I'm going to be taken and I'm going to do that. And they argue about it, not realizing that the Lord has different divisions with different assignments. And when somebody hears about their own assignment, they just assume that their assignment is the assignment for all of them. They're not recognizing that the Lord is much deeper uh, than what our little minds can fathom. So with that, guys, I'll let you go. Have a great day, and God bless you.